Oh, wow. I hate this. Okay, this is up to you. You get to do this accent. All right. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quick or this is gonna hurt. He's a, he, he's about to try to smash Mario. Dude, he's about to get fucked by Super Mario. Excuse me? You wanna... You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See? Now to me, <laughs> that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No? You oughta be. It got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. I love that his thing isn't that he scares a baby into submission, he just makes them cry even harder. <laughs> yeah, no, he... Like, a, a baby cries, he fucks him up and he cries even harder. This man's insane. Wow. They all have the same accent. Is this... Do they speak like this in uh, Sunshine? I just... Don't think they... Wait, no, they definitely speak in Sunshine, right? Like, they you do. can talk to some of them. They do. No, I'm pretty sure they speak normally. Okay, it's just, and I also love their design. They're clearly Piantas with, you know, the... Uh, yeah, like the leaf skirt. Exactly, but, but they the got top, a suit they're on top. all business. Yeah. And he also has a custom-made top hat with probably a hole at the top for his... Uh, yeah, and probably not just a hole at the top, like it has to be Velcro or something at the back. Because it would be hard to put it on with a small hole. Like, pop the leaves up. Yeah, then again, I guess leaves right, you can bend them, yeah. hopefully, but them taking it off would be hard. Yeah, well, yeah, no, nah, that'd, that'd be really annoying. Anyways. <laughs> I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up, you got it? <laughs> what a man. So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. Why does he keep raising his hand like that when he speaks? It's just to um, show the player he speaks, you know, like he, he... I know, but just, you know, the movement... The only thing he actually says is hello. Oh, okay, I see. That's the only thing Mario ever says, and people infer whatever he wants from it. What's that? You want to help some rot who got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting the crystal stars. The crystal stars, <laughs> boss. Hey, boss. Ain't those things in that legend about the ancient treasure? Hey, he knows almost as much as Goombella who went to the University of Doom. Well, now we know that, you know, slightly stupid uh, Piantas are just as smart as very academic um Goombas. Ain't that the truth? Damn, this guy's fucking rude. Yeah, he hates his cottage. He's just ribbing on him in front of his boss. Yeah, he wants to one-up one, one up him. Uh, I'm not sure it's real, to be honest. Yeah, if I saw some floating ghost lady, I'm not sure I want her to tell me it's just as real as her. Yeah, I... Do you think they changed the dialogue based on, uh... I, I would guess so. Which, which partner is kind of cool have? they took the time to probably write three people right now. Fair enough. Wow. He but can't I... help but like a guy like us. Wow. <laughs> Imagine say, saying the princess is some skirt. <laughs> I mean, it, it, come on, you know. Like, the guy has no fucking clue who the princess is, probably. He doesn't know who Mario is because he lives in Rogueport. That's true. And imagine having to give the Mafia a favor. Yeah, I, I would not be extremely happy about that, but honestly, Mario just kind of does whatever the fuck he's asked. And I don't think he cares. No, he truly doesn't. Like, he has a mission, and he's willing to do anything to make it through. Alright, we gotta find his daughter and, um... This Frankie fellow. And they get mad that someone else is tasked with doing what they couldn't do. <laughs> Damn. Damn, they're getting fucked by the boss. I mean, hey, to be fair... They deserve it if they can't find who he wants them to find. Yeah, fair enough. But honestly, if I was him, I would kind of be shitting my pants at this uh, at this point. Like if a mob boss is that fucking pissed after you. Wow. Okay. So if we do it right, it's the carrot and the stick approach that this man uses. Huh? Oh, like yeah. So if you find her, you get the reward. If you don't, it's not that you don't get the reward. It's he your breaks gift. your bones. Yeah, he's, he's gonna uh, he's gonna make sure you regret not finding her. He's about to rough you up. That's All right. Also, 
go chat on that badge shop real quick since it's on the way. Do you remember where we are? Yeah, yeah, we're at the, where we arrived, the very first zone. All we're right, about to escape. Right. It's her. Oh, damn. I'm surprised she doesn't hide once, you know, you actually know who she is. Yeah, I actually never realized she was one of the ones running the bad shop. This is... This one and this one are so expensive. This is ridiculous. And yeah, we spent 64 points. I don't think points. we have the money for any of these, really. No, especially because we, uh... Others. Yeah, special... Oh, the special deals are the one uh, put mm -hmm, up there. They're the ones we actually have there. But, yeah, especially because of that guy who asked us to pay yeah. up 50 coins. Yeah, who thought it was incredible. Someone actually paid him 64 coins. Yeah. He's clearly not a very good, uh... Mafia man. Yeah, like, neither Mafia man, business, anything, really. No, and he's not good at, you know, inspiring confidence, because when you say, I'm gonna pay, he says, you're really about to pay this? Yeah, or or maybe, you know, it's his way to disarm you, like, he, he makes it look like he's, you know, kind of stupid, kind of foolish. That's true. And they're oh. like, oh, this guy's kind of a dum-dum, like, nothing wrong, and then he, next time you think anything of him, you know, he'll fuck you up before you know it. Hey, that's, uh, that's a good strategy right there. Okay, hopefully they're actually here, because if not, it's about to be... Yeah, it's about to be a bit of a shit show. No, okay, there Okay, there Beautiful. they are. Also, I'm so Oh, bad for the rat. Does no oh, shit. I don't remember what he does, honestly. I don't either. I'm surprised this guy is the only one who wears a white suit. Everyone wears a black suit, and he's out here just, you know, styling on everyone. I mean, he knows he's cooler than the rest of them. I'm gonna have to say everyone in road ports just gets shut down as soon as they approach women, because Goombera does the same thing. Yeah, no, as soon as you try to talk to a girl, you, you get instantly slammed in this place. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's right. Daddy asked just, uh... To find you. Dark face. Maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do to you if we do that? Francesca, baby doll. If we can just talk Tom like with the boss, he'll understand. <laughs> Fuck, why are you giving him a James Bond voice? <laughs> Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie. More than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie. Let's run. To the ends of the earth if we have to. But, Butter Biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one! Well, you know, hopefully once they're married, the flames yeah, of no, passion don't as- No, as soon as, as soon as they get married, the flames of passion are fucking dry. Oh, I see. Well, that's not a good sign now, is it? Alright, no. No way, sob sister. She hates it. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I, I wouldn't be too happy if someone reported me to uh, to anyone, but... Aw, oh, what am I gonna do with this crazy dame? Well, I can tell why she's in love with him, you know? I mean, hey, he's... Uh, Dude has a way with words. He does. And that accent of his so freaking sexy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly like James Bond. There's something about him, you know? Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, the oh, first person the who actually fuck? knows who we are. Um. Okay, no, he he's not actually a... Um, he's not actually a what? A good person that... Y it's not someone you're happy that knows you, you know? No, like, absolutely. It's kind of like those old Facebook friends that suddenly randomly add you and you're like, Oh, okay, what's up? And they're like, Oh, I got this amazing business proposal for you. He wants a hundred coins or more! Holy shit. Bruh, we wish, like, you wish I had that kind of money. We just got robbed of 64 coins. Yeah, 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 we'll just go report them, don't worry about it. Uh, but yeah, like, it, it's really stupid. I never understood those people that, like, add high school friends, like, 
and then try to sell some kind of pyramid scheme. I mean, hey, you need more recruits if you want to actually make money off the initial investments you made into the pyramid scheme, right? Yeah, I, I guess, but like, who the fuck actually ever joins that? I mean, that's the thing, right? If you joined it, you're hoping that you know someone else who's about to, who's willing to join. Yeah, fair enough. And I guess you kind of just you're stupid enough to cast a super wide net and hope anyone you used to know. I mean, we'll basically, at that day. point, you're desperate, so you have to cast a wide net, trust me. Like, yeah, yeah, One percent of people are actually going to say yes. Like, one of the things I also never understood of pyramid schemes, uh, for some, a lot of things I don't understand about it, but why would you join one and not just create one? I mean, if you want to create one, you have to come up with a product and everything. And Fair there's enough. actually another initial investment. And then you have to hope it to actually pitch up Steam. Whereas if you join one, in theory, yeah, you're hearing already, like, about it because it's already pitched up Steam. Yeah, but then like you're super low in the pyramid and you get basically $1 per $100 you manage to bring in. No, for sure. But if you join early enough, right? Like, yeah, I, I guess. You're but, basically at the top. But that's the thing. Like, Let's say you join early enough. Who the fuck is going to join like low? A bunch of people. Because clearly yeah, a fuck. bunch of people do. I just, fuck. <laughs> like, yeah, it doesn't make sense, but a bunch of people said, like, yeah, like a, a bunch of people actually end up joining. Which is honestly extremely weird to me. Like, how the fuck do we not realize it's a complete scam and they'll get nothing out of it? I mean, there's an actual product on sale. It's such a good product, man. Yeah, but, like, no one ever sees a product. No, most of the time there kind of is a product, like, it's a bit, like, it's some random creams and stuff like that. Okay, it's like, look, pay me a hundred dollars, I'll give you the starter pack, and then you're allowed to get other people to buy the starter pack. That's entirely it. Yeah, okay, great. And then, you know, you can actually continue selling those products, but... Yeah, I honestly don't know, like, are there a lot of people that join and then keep buying the products? I have no, I've never actually interacted with a person like that. Actually, at some point in um, in school, I had some dumb fuck who, who was trying to get us into a pyramid scheme. Was it the guy who you were like in a class during your lunch break? And yeah, like we're just uh, during a lunch break with like two of our friends fucking around, right? And then this guy like comes up to us and like, oh, can I talk to you about something? And one of our friends is like, yeah, sure, you know what's up? And he starts talking about like, I, I think it was cable that he was selling, technically. He was saying cable? Like, not cable, but like, you know, cable TV. Yeah. And I, I think he was like, yeah, I'm, like, it's like a cool Videotron packet. Okay. Like, and, and like, it sounded fucking weird, you know? So like, we were like, no, that's just a fucking pyramid scheme, you know? Yeah. And the guy's like, oh, no, no, not at all, not at all. And, you know, like, one of our friends is polite, he's just listening in, like, but two of us, like, me and uh, the other one, we're just in the back fucking laughing our asses off. <laughs> right, we're actually getting so the Pyramid Steam at school, what's going on? Yeah, no, it's it's really weird, because, like, you, you would never expect it to be at school, right? Like, with someone your year currently? Yeah, no, and, like, never in person like that, like, that blatantly. Yeah, he like, has no social capital, did you even know this guy? Fuck, no, no, I think we slightly knew him. As in, like, no one was really friends with him, but, like, we all kind of either had a class with him at, at some point or, or some crap, you know? Okay, so basically you knew of the guy, but you didn't yeah. actually know the guy. Yeah, basically, yeah. So, and he, he's trying to sell it, you know, and, like, we're just in the back clowning on him, being like, oh, that's a fucking <laughs> pyramid scheme. Like, your, your thing fucking sucks, my guy, like. And, like, at first he, he pretends to, like, you know, he's playing it cool. He's like, oh, haha, yeah, I understand why you might think that, but, you know, it's not that. And he explains, quote unquote, why, why it's, it's not, not that. that. And you know, we just don't fucking listen. We just clown. And then he's like, shut the fuck up! Hey, man had anger issues. Dude, like, he genuinely, we pushed him past, like, his limit. And the guy got so fucking pissed. And like, as soon as he snapped, you know, like, he tried to recompose himself. Like, he, he, he was like, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, but no. It was it, a funny it's, outburst I had right there, <laughs> yeah, huh, boys? <laughs> like, you know when you snap and then you kind of try to play it off, you know? Yeah. Like, imagine the uh, Osborne and Spider-Man one, you know, like, uh, I'm, I'm sure he has... I made uh, this company! Yes, yeah, I made this company! No, but also, was, he did not make the company. He was recruited in the pyramid scheme. Hey, maybe he was trying to start it. Hey, maybe. Maybe. Maybe he took your advice to heart and she was like, 
why should I join a pyramid scheme instead yeah. of making one from scratch? Wait, well, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if it was that miffed, you know, because we we're calling out his bullshit. Or because we made him realize he was in a pyramid scheme. Like, nah, I like to think to he know. knew. Which, but he had to know, right? I, I would like to think he had to know. But at the same time, some people are really fucking stupid. Because I'll put it that way. You have to be kind of dumb, in my opinion, to join a pyramid scheme without knowing. But you have to be a bit dumber to join a pyramid scheme, scheme while you know it's a pyramid scheme. You know what I mean? That's a very fair point. Like, no matter how you cut it, the guy was kind of <laughs> fucking stupid, in my opinion. Unless it wasn't a pyramid scheme. Oh, shit. He was telling us the truth the whole time. He was actually just trying to get you to invest in basically the stock market. Well, no, he just wanted us to get good, cheap cable. There we go. Like, the guy was a sweetheart. This is a massive button. I think you can uh, ground pound it. Oh, you're right. I forgot to got the ground pound stuff. Yeah. He's a genius. Fantastic. Well, you know, there's a reason I didn't buy in the pyramid scheme. And that's true. I'm a bit too smart for that kind of stuff. <laughs> Patsy uh, won't get caught up in a pyramid scheme until he dies. But yeah, no, that was um, that that was definitely a fun one. Like it's, sometimes it's you never expect it, but some people just randomly show up and start talking about complete crap, and it is so fucking fun. Ain't that the truth? Oh, this is for a later thing. Yeah. This is basically what's Las Vegas, I guess? Yeah, I guess that's kind of what they based it off of. With the boxing matches and everything, and the glitz and the glam. Yeah, I was surprised, like, you recently told me that there's a lot of boxing matches in Vegas. Mm -hmm. I it's... would never have thought. I mean, like, hey, I... it's a great betting event, right? Fair enough, fair enough, when you put it that way. Like, I, I just kind of always stop boxing, not for betting, but more for... Watching you know, and entertainment. Yeah, like the entertainment of a sport and like more like in a pure way, if you will. Absolutely, but no, I think a lot of people actually bet a lot of money on those fair, events. Fair, I mean, there has to be some reasons why it pulls in so much money, right? For sure. Because I, I feel like, sure, a lot of people go watch them and like you have to pay for the ticket. But with a payday some of the boxers make, I guess the sponsors could cover it. I guess some... Um, Honestly, I'm not sure what the economics of the sport is, but I'm sure that the betting part has a lot, a large yeah. role to play. Because they, they do take a cut, right? Mm. Like, usually the betting agencies or whatever take a cut, that's how they work, right? They have to, they have to. Yeah. This yeah. man is a legend. Like, the rock, I love him. Rockcock? <laughs> that is such a fucking weird name they gave him. They knew exactly what they were doing. They untold rot hot. They knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah. No, I mean, you know, at Nintendo, they definitely knew what, what was going on with what the fuck they, they wrote. Hey, say it fast five times in a row, and that's, uh, you know exactly what they were going for. Yeah. Say once in a row, and <laughs> you already know what the fuck they were going for. Number yeah! one, baby! Number one, baby! Here we Rock go. Rock is the champ! How would you do that laugh? <laughs> <laughs> you're basically I, a pirate at that point. Yeah, like, fuck. Everything you know, you're like, yeah, he's a champ. And then, like, he goes full fucking pirate mode. 